In an active part of the Sun's 11-year cycle of activity, those using telescopes equipped with special solar filters to peer at the Sun can see dark sunspots dotting the Sun's surface. Space observatories will detect short-lived but brilliant and powerful solar flares lasting minutes to hours on the Sun's surface. Occasional, powerful coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, giant bubbles of gas and magnetic fields from the Sun, containing up to a billion tons of charged particles that can travel up to several million miles per hour, are released into the interplanetary medium. This solar material streams out through space, and sometimes strikes Earth. Is this dangerous? Should we be worried? Solar storms aren't dangerous to humans on Earth's surface. These storms are awesome to contemplate, but they cannot harm our human bodies as long as we remain on the surface of Earth, where we're protected by Earth's blanket of atmosphere. Remember, there's every reason to believe that storms on the Sun have been happening for billions of years, since the Sun and Earth came to be. If that's so, then all life on Earth evolved under their influence. What is the danger of a solar storm in space? Very high-energy particles, such as those carried by CMEs, can cause radiation poisoning to humans and other mammals. They would be dangerous to unshielded astronauts, say, astronauts traveling to the moon. Large doses could be fatal. Still, solar storms, and their effects, are no problem for us on Earth's surface. Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere protect our human bodies from the effects of solar flares. The most powerful solar storms send coronal mass ejections CMEs, containing charged particles, into space. If Earth happens to be in the path of a CME, the charged particles can slam into our atmosphere, disrupt satellites in orbit and even cause them to fail, and bathe high-flying airplanes with radiation. They can disrupt telecommunications and navigation systems, they have the potential to affect power grids, and have been known to black out entire cities, even entire regions. People talking about power failures from solar storms always point back to March 13, 1989, 31 years ago. A CME caused a power failure in Quebec, as well as across parts of the northeastern US. In this event, the electrical supply was cut off to over 6 million people for 9 hours. But it's possible for solar storms to be even more powerful than the one that caused the 1989 Quebec and U.S. Northeast blackout. The largest known solar flare took place on August 28, 1859. It was observed and recorded by Richard C. Carrington, and so it's sometimes called the Carrington event, or sometimes the 1859 solar superstorm. The accompanying coronal mass ejection, CME, traveled to Earth in only 17 hours, rather than the usual three or four days. The largest recorded geomagnetic storm occurred. Aurorae, or northern lights, were seen in many parts of the world. Telegraph systems throughout Europe and North America failed. Scientists are asking more questions about solar storms and their consequences. For example, in 2012, Scientists publishing in the journal Space Weather suggested that a 2001 power failure in New Zealand was caused by a solar storm. That result, if true, is particularly important because New Zealand is not at a high latitude, as Quebec is, for example. It's at a middle latitude, the same latitude as much of the United States. This 2012 study suggests that solar storm effects can reach into the more populous middle latitude. Are we in danger from a particularly huge solar storm, perhaps on the scale of the Carrington event? Some believe we may be. That is why governments and scientists are beginning to pay more attention to this issue, with an eye to creating systems and procedures to help withstand such powerful effects from the sun. A solar prominence is vast and awesome in size in contrast to our little Earth. But the Earth is so far from the sun that these prominences pose no danger. Bottom line, storms on the sun are a natural occurrence. They have been happening for billions of years. They are not dangerous to our human bodies on Earth's surface. But they can affect some earthly technologies, such as power grids and satellites in orbit around Earth. That's in this video, thanks for watching mobile.com.